Welcome back to another video here upon the old YouTube channel. I uh, got another top 10 video for y'all, and this is a pretty cool one. And that is going to be my 10 favorite bands and artists of all time. One of my first videos I did this year were my 10 favorite albums, so I figure I'd tackle my 10 favorite bands and artists. I've always wanted to make this list in general, but when you love so, so many bands and artists, it's definitely hard to pinpoint the 10, because there's probably 15 or so that I had to leave off that I really, really like. So I might end up doing a part two if enough of y'all really dig this video. So with all the bullshit out of the way, let's get right into it with my number 10. So coming in at number 10 is actually going to be the only new artist on this list. I wish I could have included a lot of other new artists that I really, really like quite a bit. But a bunch of the other ones are older artists that have been with me for a number, a number of years. So I had to put a bunch of them on here. But this one is easily my favorite newer artist of the past 10 years or so. And that is going to be Tanner Ussery. For those who don't know, Tanner Ussery is a country guy, a modern country guy, who also does a little bit of rock as well. Some really great heavy southern rock songs, as well as slow country songs. And why I put him on here as opposed to some others is I don't think I've connected more with a newer artist like I have with Tanner Ussery. And what's funny is he doesn't even have an album out yet. He has two EPs, Medicine Man and SOL, se SOL Sessions which are really strong EPs. Really love those quite a bit. And he has maybe six or seven other songs out that are also really, really awesome. So he has quite a bit out there so far, just not a full-length album yet. But I really love every song that he's done so far. I'm really anticipating a full album in the future because I think um, he will continue to rise up as the more as he releases more and more stuff. But Tanner Usher, you definitely go check him out if you haven't ever heard of him. He just hit a million monthly listeners on Spotify, so he's definitely growing in popularity very fast. And being a big fan of him myself, I could definitely see why. And he also puts on a very great live show, because I saw him live a few months back in November. So Tanner Russery had to make this uh, top 10. He's going to be my number 10. Now we're going to go for a band that is way opposite genre from my number 10, and that is going to be a progressive metal band, and my favorite prog metal band. And that is going to be Dream Feeder. Of course, you're going to see lots of diversity on this list, but Dream Feeder has always been my favorite prog metal band. I love prog metal a lot. Some of my other favorites in the genre would be Opeth and Periphery. Love those two bands quite a bit. But Dream Feeder has always, always been my favorite. A lot of their albums I really, really like. My favorites would definitely be Images and Words, Octavaria, and The Dramatic Turn of Events. Those are easily my three favorite albums. And my fourth album, if I were to pick, would probably be Awake. I um, really like a lot of their stuff quite a bit. They have such a great discography, such great musicians, some of the best musicians and the genre of all time. You know, you have John Petrucci on guitar. really love his guitar tone on all of his albums and playing. And James Labrie's the vocalist. He's easily one of my favorite vocalists of all time. And, of course, you have really cool drum parts and keyboard parts, bass parts, so many wicked and awesome performances throughout their discography. You know, they have a few duds in their discography, like the first album in The Astonishing, but the highlight points of Dream Feeder are enough to put them in the top 10 and to be one of my favorite bands of all time. So Dream Feeder, they're going to come in at number 9. So for number 8, we go to another opposite genre from the last two, and that is going to be Elvis Presley, which might come as a surprise to some people, but if you know me quite well, you know, I've been a big, big Elvis fan ever since I was very little. He was the second artist I ever got into when it pretty much came to music. The first was Johnny Cash, who we will see higher up on the list. But Elvis, really love Elvis quite a bit. Lots of really, really awesome songs. My favorite songs by him would probably be In the Ghetto and Kentucky Rain, All Shook Up, you know, Don't Be Cruel, uh, Blue Moon of Kentucky. Lots of really, really great songs throughout the, his discography. Love his early stuff, the middle era stuff, the later stuff. Can't go wrong with any era of Elvis. You know, definitely an oddball pick, just like a lot of these other ones. But he had to make this list since he's been with me for a very, very, very long time. And a lot of my favorite childhood songs are in his catalog and will probably be with me for the rest of my life because I still love him quite a bit to this day, even though it's been maybe 10 years or so since I first got into Elvis in the first place. But, you know, Elvis had to make this list. He's going to be my number eight. Coming in at number seven has always been one of my favorite bands since I first got into rock music, and that is going to be Creedence Clearwater Revival. They are the second band with the most songs I could play by them on guitar. Number one is my number one favorite band, obviously, but uh, CCR, really love them quite a bit. Some of my favorite songs to play by them are Traveling Band, 
you know, down on the corner, who will stop the rain, up around the bend, the proud Mary Green River, Lodi. They have so, so many really good songs. Really great and genius songwriting from John Fogarty, who really, really, really brought the band up to be the biggest band of that point because uh, they were bigger than the Beatles after the Beatles broke up is how big they were, selling tons and tons of records. You know, they have a really good track record of really good albums up until their last two, Pendulum and Mardi Gras, but their first five are really, really strong. Whether you're talking about the debut album, The Bayou Country, The Green River, to Willie and the Poor Boys, and to my personal favorite Creedence album, and their best, Cosmos Factory, which had many, many of their biggest songs on that album. So, a band that obviously had to make it on here, uh, one of my favorite classic rock bands of all time. So, yeah. Pretty Clearwater Revival, they're going to be my number seven. Number six is going to be my uh, second favorite Southern Rock band of all time, and that is going to be ZZ Top. I really dig Southern Rock quite a bit, but ZZ Top is definitely my second favorite band within uh, that genre. Really got into them heavily uh, since I saw them live last year, back in June, I believe. But I always really dug them. I loved them uh, even before that. But, you know, seeing a band live definitely propels them up to be uh, higher on your favorites list than they were. But ZZ Top, lots of really good albums. They have a really good track record up until Eliminator, in my opinion, of really, really strong albums. And there's lots of other good uh, songs and albums to love after Eliminator, but Eliminator was definitely their peak, and that was probably their eighth album or something like that, ninth, something around there. So they have a lot of, a lot of really good, uh, strong albums. But my other favorites besides Eliminator would definitely be their newest album, Raw, which was their soundtrack album to their uh, documentary, that little old band from Texas out on the old Netflix. And, you know, you have the first two albums, Trey's Homebrace, Fandango, which is a fantastic and underrated album. So, so many really good albums and songs to love. My favorite ZZ Top song has always been Tush. The love got me under pressure and saw just man waiting for the bus, just got paid. I'm bad, I'm nationwide, and two snakes boogie. Lots of really, really strong and really good tunes and albums. And I really love Billy Gibbons' vocals and guitar picking. So, had to make this list, obviously. Zazie Top gonna be my number six. Now we're getting into my top five. My top five I've had down for ever, pretty much, ever since I got into all these bands. I can name my top five pretty much of everything, whether it be albums or songs or movies or video games i can always name my top five everything but when you get into the other five it's definitely hard to pinpoint but i obviously did it so coming at number five you know brainer led zeppelin you know my first name zeppelin so obviously had to make this list and zeppelin's a band where i love every single one of their albums all eight of their albums are really strong in my opinion even the later ones which aren't as loved as their earlier stuff i probably prefer the earlier stuff but the later ones are also really good I like, I really like Presence and In for the Outdoor, and of course, before that, you have the first four, one, two, three, and four, which are classics of the genre, and House of the Holy, Physical Graffiti, and that's all their albums, and all of them are really, really strong. My top three Led Zeppelin albums would probably be one, four, and maybe Physical Graffiti or House of the Holy, I'm not sure, but my favorite Zeppelin song has always been Over the Hills and Far Away. Love that song quite a bit. And just like many more of their songs. But, you know, some of the best guitar picking on here. Really like Jimmy Page. My favorite member of the band is actually John Bonham. I really love his drumming quite a bit. But all the members are very talented musicians. And they definitely made up to be one of the best rock bands of all time. Maybe the best British rock band. I don't think they're the best rock band. Because, obviously, my number one, um, as you know, is going to be, obviously, my favorite rock band. But Led Zeppelin had to make it on this list. So, a no-brainer for me. So, number five. Led Zeppelin. Coming in at number four, as you can see on the very back wall, is going to be Metallica, my favorite metal band. You know, really dig Metallica quite a bit, especially their earlier stuff. Same goes with a lot of people. The first three albums are all perfect albums for me for the most part, except maybe one or two songs off of Kill Em All. But Ride the Lightning and then Master of Puppets are two perfect albums for me. Really love those quite a bit. And those are some of my favorite albums of all time, those uh, first three. I don't really care for And Justice For All, except for a few songs, and I love the Black Album quite a bit. A lot of people don't like it, but I still dig it quite a bit. And, you know, past that, they went for a lot of bad albums and stuff like that, but there's still a lot of enjoyable songs on those albums that I dig quite a bit. And, you know, of course, back in the day, some of the best riffs and solos and anything, even, even songs just come out of metal in general. You know, you have... Uh, Really good guitar pick and bass playing. Just overall, really good performances from this band. 
and they've always been a favorite of mine ever since I first got into them. So, you know, might be a popular pick for a lot of people, but it had to be a no-brainer for me since Metallica had a pretty big impact on me. And Ride the Lightning made my top 10 uh, albums of all time. Master of Puppets would probably, be, probably make my top 20, if not 25. So, obviously, I had to make this list. So, Metallica, that is going to be number four. Coming in at number three is definitely going to be another oddball pick, but it's my favorite prog rock band. While Dream Theater is my favorite prog metal band, the Anathema is my favorite prog rock band. Not many people know about this band since they're a smaller band, but they've been around since the 90s. And they actually started off as a doom metal, death doom, whatever you want to call it band. But then they evolved into being a uh, prog rock band. And their prog rock era is really, really awesome. They have a good track record of lots of good albums, starting with Judgment, leading to The Optimist. Really love Weather Systems. We're here because we're here. Judgment, as I just mentioned. Distant Satellites, A Natural Disaster, A Fine Day, The Exit. So many really good and strong albums and songs. Nowadays, there's two vocalists in the band. You have Vincent, who does the male vocals, and Lee Douglas, who's the female singer. Really good dynamic between those two, and you, know, you have really good acoustic guitar parts, electric guitar parts, good guitar solos. Then you have some really cool piano and keyboard parts. So many good um, variety with instruments and uh, different vocal styles. In this band, I really did them quite a bit, and their best album, in my opinion, is my third favorite album of all time, and that is Weather Systems. I would definitely start there if you want to listen and check out uh, this band if you haven't. So Anathema, that's going to be my number three. Number two is going to be Johnny Cash, and I really dig Johnny Cash quite a bit. Right up above me, I have a big wall, a bunch of records and posters by him. Um, I don't know that, actually. Johnny Cash wall right there, and a lot of people might think he would be my number one. If you know me pretty much my whole life, he was the first artist I ever got into, but one other band has taken over, but I still dig Johnny Cash quite a bit. Lots of really good albums I really like. My favorite is Out Among the Stars, but, you know, the American albums are really good, especially 4 and 3 are my favorites. And, of course, you have the two Prison Live albums, At Bulls in Prison and At San Quentin. would really love to play a gig at those two prisons because of Johnny Cash. Really love the outlaw themes and, uh, and his songs, and he's had a big impact on my lyric writing and my songwriting, the whole outlaw prison theme and all that type of stuff. So, really dig Johnny Cash quite a bit. One of my favorite singers of all time. One of my favorite songwriters of all time. He obviously had to make this list at number two. If you know me well, you know my number one band's Leonard Skinner. You can see the little wall I got going. I'm surprised I don't have more Leonard Skinner stuff since I love this band quite a bit, but I need to get more. My very first discography review in my discography review series was Leonard Skinner, so many of you already know they're my favorite band. But my favorite album of all time is their first album, Pronounced Leonard Skinner. And some of my other favorite albums of all time are by them, like Second Helping and Street Survivors, 1991, you know, God and Guns, Last of a Dying Breed. They have so many really good albums uh, before the plane crash and post-plane crash. Their post-plane crash albums don't get enough love, and I still think they are awesome. Definitely not as good as the 70s stuff, but they're still really kick-ass in my opinion. Ronnie Van Zandt is my favorite singer of all time. And Gary Rossington is my favorite guitar player of all time. But, you know, you also have other really good guitar players that have had an impact on me that I could put as my number one, like Alan Collins and Steve Gaines and Ed Kane. But why I put Gary as my number one is because, like, the first 10 Leonard Skinner songs I ever learned on guitar were riffs and solos uh, done by him and written by him. So I was like, hmm, I love these songs so much since they're 10 of my favorites. Might as well put them as my favorite. But, you know, you have tons of really talented and great musicians in their band that have been throughout the pretty much their entirety, whether you're talking about their current lineup or their classic lineup, so many great, talented, and awesome musicians. And I have tickets to see them in uh, July with ZZ Top. It'll be my second time seeing ZZ Top, so hopefully that show is awesome. And hopefully I get to see Gary Rossington play since he's my favorite guitar player. But, you know, lots of good albums, lots of good songs. My favorite song of all time is Simple Man. My fourth favorite song of all time is the live version of Freebird from their 70s live album, One More from the Road. So, I could rant on about Leonard Skinner all day, but I don't want to bore y'all out by doing it, so I'm going to leave it at that. They're my number one favorite band and probably always will. So, Leonard Skinner at number one. So those are going to be my 10 favorite bands and artists of all time, or at least right now. This list might update. If this ever updates, I might uh, do another one of these or do a part two to this with uh, this list. If y'all enjoyed this video, let me know if you want to see that. And also, if you really dug this video, please get, consider giving it a like. 
and subscribing to the old YouTube channel. Got a lot more wicked stuff kind of coming up for y'all. And be sure to go follow me over on the Instagram and the TikTok. Both will be linked down below in the description. So, hope y'all dug this video. Me ranting on about my 10 favorite bands. And if y'all did, blast your favorite bands today. Your favorite album by them. And then go out and kick some ass.